There's a wind and it blows and it thunders And the rains come and go on the plains Once I saw you there standing before me And now I am here all alone And I know deep within me you live on and on Like the waters of life and the salt in the sea I don't get nowhere when the waters of life and the salt of the sea they dissolve. When I die while you're When I die while you're alive, where am I? Chideva Dehas, to Chideva Lokash, Chideva Buddha, Nichitendriyadu, Karta Chidanta Karanam Chideva, Chideva Sarvam Paramar. देहस्तु, चिदेव लोकस, चिदेव भूतानि, चिदंद्रियानि, खरता चिदंत, करनम चिदंत, चिदेव सर्वम् परमार्थ रूपम्, the body, the worlds, beings, the organs of sense, the doer the internal organ, everything. The supreme aim is consciousness alone. As a human, I live in a body made of flesh, bones and the blood of the earth. There is a fire and water within me and the air that I breathe of the world. And I know deep within me, I live on and on like the waters of life and the salt in the seas. I live on and on, but I don't know where, where the waters of life and the salt of the sea, that is all. There is a wind and it blows and it thunders. And the rains come and go on the plains. Once I saw you standing there before me, now I am here all alone. And I know deep within me, you live on and on like the waters of life and the salt in the sea. You live on and on, but I don't know where, where the waters of life and the salt of the sea, that is all. When I die, while you are alive, where I am. Chideva dehastu chideva lokas, chideva bhutani chindriyani, karta chidanta karanam chideva. Chideva Sarna Sarvam Paramartha Bhutam
in the ultimate sense everything is consciousness and though there is a demarcation between physical entity and the metaphysical and yet there is something the consciousness that is same everywhere and the song says the physical entity will dissolve but there is something that remains like the waters of life like the salt in the seas and to understand this demarcation and to understand the real nature the consciousness the metaphysical nature to rise above the physical and to know the platonic the spiritual that which is not material that which is not physical that which is not mundane is the real discipline discipline is not about something which is coming from outside discipline is not something which is imposed discipline is freedom discipline is not something which others are telling discipline is not about maryadas discipline is not about shrimat discipline is something that comes from within that is the real discipline discipline is something that is arising from bliss discipline and we have been taught or rather all the spiritual institutions down the ages have taught discipline and because of this discipline which is imposed from outside there is suppression the universities the colleges and everyone talks about discipline you should do this and you should not do this but nobody teaches why and nobody teaches wisdom unless and until the discipline arises from viveka from wisdom it is not the true discipline the true discipline is real freedom it is not swachhandata it is not recklessness somebody was telling the other day that freedom has led to all the problems of the world but the real freedom will never lead to any problem because the real freedom is real discipline what freedom we are talking is not freedom but anarchy but recklessness real freedom will come from within real freedom is not from outside and real freedom is real discipline real freedom and real discipline is awakening while the discipline that comes from outside is death discipline is the state of awakening awakening from the slumber of body consciousness awakening to our real nature who i am i it's not about rules it's not about regulations it's not about do this and do that it's not about if i don't do this i will suffer and if i do this i will flourish when the soul is awakened discipline comes on its own discipline is self generated discipline is self inspired
Discipline is not the set of rules. It is the music of the soul. It is the natural rhythm. In one church, a priest was giving a sermon, a lecture, and he found the man sitting in front is sleeping. Not just that, he was snoring loudly. The priest went to that man, woke him up and said, My dear brother, please reduce the volume of your snoring because others are getting disturbed because the whole church is sleeping. It is the mass and the collective sleepiness. It is the mass and the collective coma. It is the mass and the collective slumber. And God has come to awaken us from that slumber. He never told rules and regulations at the starting, but rather He told us who you are. And when you know who you are, automatically all things will come. So from today onwards, we are starting a new retreat, a spiritual retreat. The Discipline Chapter In the text of Mahabharata, various chapters are mentioned and the one of the chapters is the Discipline Chapter, Anushasan Parva, Shanti Parva, so many things are there. But one of the important chapters is Discipline Parva, where certain rules and regulations are discussed. So this is the bhatti of discipline. But as I said, discipline which is not imposed, discipline which is not from outside, discipline which is not forced, discipline which comes from bliss and it becomes discipline. So it's for not eight days bhatti. A retreat where we will begin the journey of self-awakening, where we will begin the journey of self-realization, where we will understand what discipline is and where we will explore the depth of Avyakta Murlis. So it's a bhatti on Avyakta Murlis. Total 108 Avyakta Murlis we are going to cover. So, it's a radiant revolution. The scars of transformation are already in the soul. We just have to awaken those sanskar. The sanskars of transformation are already in the soul. We just have to awaken that sanskar. And when that revolution happens, we become a radiant personality. We are no more that what we are thinking that we are right now. But something new will happen. We will meet a new person, a new version of ourselves. So think of this Bhatti. In the Whenever you download something, there comes a symbol, loading. Half is filled, half is loading. This is the spiritual loading.
when we naturally get stabilized in our original real nature everything which is connected to the physical and which is not our real nature just falls down on its own like a drop of a hat we don't have to do anything all the pleasures of the body and all the evanescent attachments of this world just fall down all the decisions indecisions all the confusions of the mind go away when we are situated in our supreme consciousness our real nature and then the music arises and the music of revolution is the music of bliss and the melody of revolution is the music of the soul so we will be studying avyakta murlis this is one part of the bhakti the second part is we will also enter a pranic journey we will also enter a pranic odyssey what is prana what is consciousness and we will try to establish the link between prana and consciousness and in the ultimate sense we realize that pranic consciousness is same as soul consciousness and soul consciousness is same as supreme soul consciousness so everything ultimately becomes consciousness chideva dehastu chideva loka chideva bhutani chidindriyani karta chidanta karanam chideva chideva saranam parmartha roopam to reach to that state of consciousness where we see and feel where our sensitivity will arise will get sharpened to that extent that everything appears prana everything is consciousness how can i hurt myself because the other person whom i am meeting is but the reflection of my prana so everything is one supreme consciousness everything is one prana the only difference is in the luminosity in the shine i reach the real state of non violence i real state of purity ultimate purity is pranic consciousness ultimate purity is to enter the avyakt consciousness the real purity is discipline discipline is purity purity is discipline discipline is bliss bliss is discipline a discipline that is not coming from outside a discipline which is not imposed a discipline which is not forced a discipline which is self generated a discipline which is self illumined a discipline which is arising from the awakening of consciousness then you don't have to think i have to get up at this much time at amrit vela automatically you will get up at amrit vela you don't have to think about celibacy you don't have to think about brahmacharya oh i did this and the vot of brahmacharya is broken brahmacharya becomes the joy of life celibacy becomes the music of soul you don't have to think whether i should eat this or i should not eat this because your body will only take that which is vibrant it will move away from everything which it doesn't require which it doesn't want so this bhakti will encompass many things what are the different aspects of discipline what is the depth of avyakta murli and first 8 days are just preparation the real bhakti is of 100 days starting from 20 30th of november till 6th of february 
these eight days is the preparative phase where we prepare ourselves for four things first amrit vela second celibacy brahmacharya third what we take within and the fourth discipline a b c and d so from tomorrow we'll prepare ourselves as of now as of today prepare yourself mentally for this divine metamorphosis the change will boomerang the change will catapult it will come to you as a blessing it should fall down in your hand so naturally like the birds like the songs from the heaven like the rains from the heaven we have to reach to that natural state of consciousness so everybody get ready with the avyakta murlis of 1981 which will begin from tomorrow every day one avyakta murli and one of those days two avyakta murlis so this will go on for 108 days and as i said first 8 days are for the preparation read everything about amrit vela so that amrit vela should arise not because of some maryada or not because of some external force or because it is written somewhere because it has been set somewhere said by somebody but amrit vela the soul will arise naturally so there is a book on amrit vela which we will post on group go through that book one second b read everything you can about the bliss the joy the enjoyment which is there in celibacy the purity because purity is celebration purity is not force purity is not guilt consciousness purity is not a high mountain to be climbed but a song to be to be sung a dance to enjoy a rain to get wet under so from tomorrow all those things will start so prepare yourself for that purity prepare yourself for what you take prepare yourself for the different disciplines which we will discuss tomorrow as of now just give an order to your mind that next 108 days would be a revolution in my life it will bring a radiant a illuminant a illumination and enlightenment om shanti <coughs>